this is the sling psychrometer try to find out the relative humidity of the surrounding air so for that see this is a handle there are two thermometers this is the driver uh, temperature for taking uh, thermometer for taking dry bulb temperature this this bulb is bare but the, um, another thermometer having the bulb is covered with a wick so uh, that is for taking the wet bulb temperature so before starting you just note the temperature of the dry bulb uh, thermometer this one now the bulb level is here 20 28 28.6 28.6 is the 25 26 27 28.6 is the dry temperature 28.6 28.6 degrees Celsius. 28.6 degrees Celsius. Now you have to wet this bulb with a water. Then you have to rotate this. For a while. One minute you have to rotate. So to stabilize the temperature. So this wet bulb this soaked in water this will evaporate that evaporation depends upon the humidity of the surrounding air if there is 100 percent humid there is no evaporation so same temperature will get but 100 percent is not no less than 100 percent we can see some not the reading from the this wet bulb temperature thermometer Twenty-four point five. This is the twenty-four point five is the twenty. Twenty-four point five. So wet bulb temperature is twenty-four point five. So this is less than the dry bulb temperature because water evaporates absorb the latent heat evaporation vaporization. So the temperature reduced. So that vibration depends upon the humidity of the surrounding air. That is why the temperature is reduced. So from these two values, dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature, we can make, make use of the chart to find, the, find out the psychrometric property of the air. So this is the psychrometric chart. This scale carries the dry bulb temperature, dry bulb temperature 10, 15, 20 like that, dry bulb temperature. So, these are the relative humidity line, these lines are relative humidity line, this is, this is the wet bulb line, this line is wet bulb line, wet bulb line is this, this lines. So, you find out the dry bulb temperature and the corresponding intersecting point of wet bulb line and dry bulb temperature line. From that, we can find out the psychrometric properties. So, our value is dry bulb temperature 28.6. 28.6 means 28.6 somewhere here. So, this 28.6. This line. Then, wet bulb temperature 24.5. 24.5 is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 24.5. 24, this. So, somewhere here. This is the. This is the intersecting point. 
this line 24.5 is here this is the intersecting point intersecting point this in from this in corresponding to this intersecting point we find out the relative humidity so this relative humidity is this is 70 percent 80 percent so some 70 some you can take some 72 percent relative humidity is 72 percent you can take Rh 72 percentage. Then this line is specific cooling line. This line is specific cooling line. Specific cooling line. So 0 0.88. This is 0 0.88. 0 0.87 like this. So for 0.88, one or something contains specific cooling line. Specific volume. Specific volume. Point eight eight one. This one and enthalpy. This line extrapolated to this one. This is a so one eight eighteen. Eighteen kilocalorie per kilogram. Enthalpy. And the LP is like that. Then humidity ratio. This is the humidity ratio. This humidity ratio here 0 0.03, 0 0.02, like that. So when 0 1, um, 1, 2, 1, 3, Eight. One zero one eight. One zero one eight. So from this point you find out the humidity ratio. Then this is the vapor process specific humidity factor. This scale is specific humidity factor. This one you can find out specific humidity factor. This is vapor pressure kilogram per centimeter square vapor pressure. This scale having vapor pressure. This is specific humidity factor and this is specific boolean line. So, show the intersecting point what is the specific boolean like that. You can find out all the trichometric properties of the air.